Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and we're going to do some collaging today and uh, mixed media. So I have a lot of things where uh, I've realized, especially in my tiny ephemera drawer and like my stamps and stuff where I'm not using any of these because they're just not quite the right style. So what I'm going to do is, you know, modify them, step them up a notch using collage and aging to make some pieces that I can just, that are more like grab and go kind of things. So that's, that's pretty much the goal for today. Uh, I, I have a few projects here that I'd like to get to. I did have, there was like a, a pirate book that I bought and I was thinking, oh, I'll cut it up. And then I thought I won't cut it up. And then I realized that, and you can see <laughs> the inside edge of the book and you couldn't tell because so much of this book looks distressed intentionally that it was actually wet and um, starting to get a little musty smelling. So I had to cut off a huge section of the whole book and this is this this is what I had left but it turned out really fun because uh, I'll show you some of the fun parts oh this one I didn't I didn't finish it so like little mini book covers that look really cute and a lot of these, not this one, but a lot of them are little border edges that I'll probably end up putting in my borders. So uh, there's like my secret code and you can actually make, you know, create it yourself because it's got, there was like a letter in there uh, that was like this. So I cut it out and then folded it. So it shows up like that. How cool is that? So. And some ships, of course. This, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Uh, probably I'm going to cut out this part and then use this other stuff separately. Some good font there. Little celestial images. R really good fonts, really. That's one of the things. A little map. A map of Goat Island. <laughs> More good fonts. Scrapples, font scrapples. There was this one, a map of the island. There's no map. <laughs> they must have used invisible ink. Um, and then just cool little bits and pieces of pirates. Let's see here. There were some good ones of uh, lady pirates. Seem to have lost them. Maybe those were ladies and I didn't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have, I have misplaced the ladies. Here's one. Anne Bonnie. There you go. You got a lady pirate. All right. So uh, I got to put that away. But not right now. Ooh, put it in a little pile. My, my uh, table that I have next to me is now like two foot high. Yeah. Solid two foot. Okay. Let's pull out some paper here. I need like a base paper. I'm thinking about this uh, ledger paper to use as my base. This is actually pretty fragile. I think this is the one where you fold it and it kind of crackles. Maybe not. Maybe it's not the same one. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to... Probably not going to go over this because of the curled edges. The curled edges? The curved edges. But I think the first project I'm going to do has to do with so these are actual unused stamps Look at the birds oh what are you why are you in here oh it's a bee thing where the heck okay i'll put that with my d stash because that's where my bees are okay why is marilyn monroe on a tanzania stamp that's interesting princess diana georgie porgy I don't know what I've got. Oh, I know what happened. Okay, that's a real stamp. These ones, I think, like hockey, stuff like that. So, yeah, I end up never, ever using these. This one's not bad to save as is. 
No, collage, collage, collage. That's what we're doing. We're collaging. Because I know I just, um, I like that one. <laughs> I don't know about the spaceship ones. I don't, I don't know if that's going to end up being a thing. There were like thousands of stamps. I don't know why I cut those out. That was silly. I like the antique ones. Okay, that's an antique one. That's an antique one. And that one. Airplane. That's an unused stamp. Unused stamp. It's okay. I could probably just throw these away, right? It'll be fine. I don't need it. It's not my style. Just throw it away. I did it. Woohoo. All right. What else we got here? Some baseball. Some these miscellanies. Okay, that's more like an antique. This is a real stamp. Unused. And, oh, here we go. Well, isn't that cool looking? Hmm. See, these are so hard because it has that dark background around it. I don't know how to make that better. But anyway, those are nice. So I've got plenty to fill up a bunch of this page. I got a little, there we go. Let's do it. And then we'll just kind of collage this and then we'll be able to ink it up, you know, make it look a little distressed. And because they all have that dark black background, it'll look, it'll look fine. Uh, so I was <laughs> saying today, well, I twisted my ankle, but it looks like it's gonna end up being like a minor twist. So that's good news. It's, uh, but it is it is kind of funny that, uh, these are really, I might put that up there. Uh, it's funny because I was saying, oh darn it, now I'm gonna have to stay home and craft all day long. <laughs> oh darn. <laughs> So that was kind of there you just have to look on the bright side of things oh this has to go all the way up there with this it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal if we put have a little gap in between probably no matter Oh, this is a really cool stamp. Mongolia. It's a fun train. It fits really nicely there. I definitely would have used that one if I had found it, but there's just so many in here that I'm not crazy about, and they just, they're getting in the way, and this is what we're going to do with it. Hmm. I know there's some really big ones in here. We gotta figure out what to do. This this will fit there, I think. These can overlap. Absolutely. I do enjoy doing these. And I mean, I, you probably saw me in the video, how many times I just like go through it. And that looks like St Steve McQueen. I was gonna say that looks like um, Star Trek outfit for some, I mean, there's no reason it, I, I should be able to attribute that to Star Trek, but, but apparently I did. And why is, see like these strange, like these uh, celebrity actors are on stamps from other countries. It's confusing. Like, why does that happen? I just don't know.
Why is that a thing? Uh, Donald Duck. Oh, okay, I like this side better. Oh, my silly. Where am I going to put that one? I don't know. I'll have to see if I can get all this sorted a little better first. Put that there. Kind of kitty is that? <laughs> hockey. Play hockey in Nicaragua? Hmm. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, that'll fit better in there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I see, see, see. I see. Oh, my gosh. I'm stuttering. <laughs> see, some of these, I think I was pulling them out and going, why do we have that in there? But it was this side that I, that I had. That's why. Okay, I'm going to try to fit some smaller ones in here. Oh, maybe this. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I just had a I had a day the other day where I was just like everything is going wrong. I was, and then and I twisted my ankle that day, and it was it definitely felt like everything was going wrong. But it it was just me having a moment, like there was really nothing going on. It was just emotions just emotions getting in the way <laughs> of me doing the thing it's annoying when that happens it's just annoying i'll save that one for later wonder who that is at first i looked at it i thought that's like the iconic Wilma Rudolph photo. I love the Wilma Rudolph story. It's a good one. Which way does this go? This way. It's just a good story. I'm definitely going to save a little spot maybe for... Well, there is a hole right there. Maybe I'll do this one. And then... I'm going to end up covering up Steve McQueen a little bit. That's okay. He's he's a little before, before my time. I don't know. I don't think there's any real movies that I really loved that Steve McQueen was in. And I, I love movies from all time periods. I used to watch AMC American Movie Classics back when... We watched regular TV and uh, yeah, love, love all those movies. I just sort of fascinated. I, even if the story isn't that great, I, I do enjoy uh, just being transported back into a different time. That's what really appeals to me. Probably the same thing with junk journaling. Now that I think about it. Now that I think about it, okay. Ooh, doo -doo. I kind of wanted a little something, something up in there. Let's do the rhino. I do like the rhino. He's he's like a hand drawn. I wonder if that's like that Donald Evans. That would be really funny if that turned out to be. They would probably be stealing copyright though if it was. So it probably isn't. Oh, I 
kind of cut off the stamp part of that. Maybe here. Yeah. We'll just do it. It's a little short, but that's okay. We're just probably end up cutting it off. That's okay. Yeah, here I got an I have another space one. Not today. And that's from the 80s, so no. Got the Queen. Maybe I'll give those to Amy. Amy really enjoys the the royals and all their stories. That's a good one. Put up there. I'm not even gonna make this whole page now. What is this? Some, oh, it's a satellite. Oh, well. Oh, I like that too. <laughs> Should I just do that? I can if I want to. I like it better. It's a collage page. I can... It's my collage page, and I can do what I want to. Okay, this is The Hobbit. I don't need that. And not even on my collage page, I don't want that. <laughs> Got this athletic runner lady. Apparently we got Marilyn. And I think the Pope, which I'm just spotting him now, probably goes along the same lines as all those people. Not crazy about this is an unused stamp also. So it's not like I wouldn't spend 45 cents on a on a little embellishment, but but is that it? I made my way through all of those. That's crazy. I think I dropped some on the floor. Hold on. What's this? Oh, it's like an antique, uh, some kind of a painting made into a stamp from like Renaissance. That might work. Actually, it kind of looks like uh, the Star Wars uh, DVD, or DVD movie cover, but it isn't. <laughs> it's got like the same font and everything. <laughs> Another spaceship. And we got Elvis. Elvis? You know, Elvis from Tanzania. Very confused about that. He must have been <clears throat> well loved in Tanzania and in Maryland. Okay, I'm covering these up. Sorry, Donald Duck. I mean, I go to the zoo every week, and the one thing we haven't really been able to see uh, very many times last summer was the, the, the cougar. And this summer, uh, it seems like it's out and it's active every time we go. So it's been kind of cool. You see it jumping. You're not really that far away from it either because it's a small zoo. And... Uh, so that's cool. Okay, I've got this one. And I really don't want to cover up the rhino. I'd rather cover up that. Small zoo. Oh, my husband's back from the store. I told him, get some frozen stuff, because I don't know. It seems like every week we go through the refrigerator and there's just so much stuff we throw out. It's really depressing. And I think, so I said, buy some frozen things. That's it. I think we got them all. I feel like I, there must have been more hanging out from there, but got these. But, so let's do it. Let's just cut it out. No, I'm going to ink it. I'm going to do some distressing. I don't have my tea dye. I am thirsty, though. I'm going to drink some tea real quick. 
my morning tea. I made it last night because it's always like a thing. That I'm, I don't know why. I just make it sometimes I wait too long and then I'm up all night because I drank my tea too late. If I, if I drink it at like one or two in the afternoon, that's too late. And then, and then I'm up all night. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we're super inking this up. We're making it look really antique -y. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Mr. Hockey Player. just gonna I don't know how big of these pieces do I want no I want it to be square don't you maybe I'll use some of these you wanted it too you were like that's not right that's that's the problem this piece and this piece that's not long enough wait ooh, look at this here Okay, there we go. Uh, uh, my husband was back from the store and he was so excited because there were, they had like mushroom grow kits at Walmart. So you could grow uh, mushrooms and then it even has like the recipes for uh, what, how to, how to cook them. So that was pretty cool and they were on clearance. So only 10 bucks. So 10 bucks to grow a bunch of mushrooms. That sounds pretty great. You can grow them right in the house. My husband's really getting into hydroponics. And so uh, you can buy like small hydroponic kits. Uh, Cause I don't know if it, it's like growing through some kind of uh, fertilized water, like nutritionist water. And uh, anyway, He's got a, a machine that does it, but it's only like this big. Like it, it's, it would sit on a desk or something like that. Put all of these back in my stamp drawers. Give me something simple because it's already really busy. So we need a little like neutral contrast. Change my mind. I think we should do labels. Some really big ones in here. And I'd like lose everything. Let's go small. Let's let's do small. Yeah, that's kind of fun. I know there's like a, a size that I kind of have in mind, but maybe like that. Uh, I think that's good. So maybe something like this. I think that's too much. That's really busy. Really too busy. Not right. Yeah, here we go. That's sort of what I was thinking. Something like that. Maybe this. And I think layering it, like, you know, double layering. So, for instance, like this pink thing on here, that could be good. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ink this, uh, and I'm also going to stamp on it. And you know which stamp I'm gonna use? Oh, I'm gonna use this guy, pink. So I need something pink-ish. I would go with pink. I'm gonna do this one. So just some subtle. There we go. That's what I'm thinking. Little 
of mud on the edges here. Just a little more. Yep, the garden's coming along quite nicely this year. We we had a bad garden experience last year, and that's because okay, our soil had run out of juice, and we didn't really catch on to that until it was too late. <laughs> so this year we've got all of our soil fertilized and healthy again. He got a little pH thing so he can do a little science on the soil to make sure the soil's healthy and fertile. You can tell every time that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. That's pretty cool. This one maybe up in here. Scissors. And I think I can go kind of a big, big border because we can appreciate a lot of that stamp stuff. Oh yeah, that's a really nice piece for a grungy journal. Very good. Good stuff. And I didn't really think about this. Oh no, that's shiny. It's it's it would be a good frame for something else. A bit big for the sky. Smidges off the corners. And then we'll ink it. We'll be good. And then we've got some actual factual pieces to oh those are really fun looking check those out can you even right in on them what is she doing digging, digging in your bed Bella? all right so we've got these they're fun round the corners or um, make them jaggedy depending on what kind of look I feel like jaggedy would be better for these all right well that's what we did today just playing with paper on our table I hope you enjoyed it and as always thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later